Number 29. At what angular velocity in revolutions per minute will the peak voltage of a generator be uh, 480 volts uh, if it's 500 turn eight centimeter diameter coil rotates in a 0.25 tesla field all right so we need some generator formulas here they are on the uh right hand side we need the peak one and that's going to be this one when you have the sub o there that means peak okay so the uh, emf sub o is the uh peak uh force right the peak voltage essentially so i'm just going to write it v sub p just because you know it makes more sense um, so that's going to be equal to then the number of turns or uh, of the uh, coil of the generator multiplied then by the uh, area of that coil multiplied by then the magnetic field that the coil is rotating under multiplied then by the angular velocity. Ooh, angular velocity. Remember in physics, this is going to be in radians per second. We might have to do a conversion at the end because they want it in revolutions per minute. But the goal here is to solve for omega. So when we solve for omega, we get to divide out these three variables, right? So that means that omega here will be equal to the peak velocity divided by the number of turns, area, and magnetic field. And it looks like we basically know everything, right? Huh. I tell you, that's really conceited for us to say, right? So, well, we know everything in terms of the information in this problem. So this is going to be 480, right, volts on the top. The number of turns at the bottom is going to be 500 terms, they told you. The area here is going to be pi r squared. They gave you the diameter. Oh, and they gave it to you in centimeters, right? So you know half of this is going to be 4 centimeters. That's the radius. Then you got to convert that into meters. So that's 0.04 meters. And then you got to square it and then multiply it by pi. Boom, area. There it is. So pi r squared, so it's 0.04 squared, okay? And then uh, multiply that by that magnetic field, which is 0 0.25 Tesla. All right, so there we go. And the angular velocity now is going to be, remember there's radians per second, so there's going to be uh, 480 divided by then parenthesis 500 times pi uh, times then 0.04 squared times then 0.25. And I don't know why I'm in a breath, but, you know, 764, I guess you know, radians per second, but we don't need that in radians per second because they want it in revolutions per minute. So we got to now convert this. So radians on the bottom, revolutions on the top, two pi radians for every single revolution. See you later, radians. Now it's revolutions per second, but we don't want revolution per second. We want revolutions per minute. So the seconds have to go on the top, the minutes on the bottom because the seconds have to cancel. So they have to be on opposite sides. And we know that there's 60 seconds in one minute. So we'll see you later seconds. And now finally we have the units of revolutions per minute. So now all we're going to do is we're going to multiply it, right? That answer that we got, multiply by 60, then divided by parenthesis 2 pi. And that works out to be 7 point, I guess, 30, if you consider, I guess, rounding and whatnot, times 10 to the uh, third RPM. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right, we got a whole lot of videos out there for you. If you're taking another class, chemistry, math, we got a whole bunch of solved problems out there. All right. So uh, floating around in cyberspace. All right. So check it out. Visit us in cyberspace. Take care.